The explosion of Deepwater Horizon has led to the biggest oil spill ever, an environmental disaster. But there is also hope as natural sea-living bacteria, which feed on the oil, have helped to degrade at least a part of the leaking oil before it arrived on the sea surface. In Brest, experts from the European research project Kill Spill want to verify how they can improve the conditions for such oil-eating bacteria in the seawater. They simulate an oil leak in the bottom of a tank and want to test what happens if they add a new bio-based dispersant to the leakage. You see, it changes quite a bit. Now you have less, much smaller bubbles, and you get a cloud. This cloud actually is very tiny, tiny droplets of oil. And this is in the form that the microorganisms can actually attack and eat it. In order to be able to test the self-cleaning potential of the sea, the company Vermicon has developed a diagnostic kit that can identify the presence of oil-eating bacteria without needing to breed them in a laboratory. This revolutionary technique uses tiny DNA fragments that attach to the specific bacteria and provide a fluorescent image under the microscope. When there's a major oil spill, there are certain bacteria that can take care of the biological degradation. With our technology, we try to monitor this, so we first look if we can detect them and then identify the amount of bacteria in the sample. We then want to verify how they develop over time, so that it's possible to assess if they can degrade enough oil over time. Additionally, the scientists experiment with adding nutrients to help the bacteria to divide and thus increase the rate of degradation. A process that takes years in nature could be speeded up to only a few weeks. Apart from oil spills, plastic materials are one of the biggest problems of the world's oceans today. Around 10 million tonnes end up in the sea every year. At the University of Bologna, Italy, researchers want to verify if microbes can also help to degrade plastic materials made of crude oil. Within the European project BioClean, the scientists focus on four common types of plastic and are isolating and studying hundreds of different microbes. Fabio Fava coordinates the project. At the moment, we're culturing more than 1,200 microbes all across Europe within our consortium and we've identified a total of 30 microorganisms, bacteria and fungi, which are able to degrade at least one of these plastic materials. For each of the four key plastic types, we found a minimum of one microbe that's able to feed on and decompose the material. The aim of the scientists is now to study these bacteria and fungi further, to try to improve or better valorize their biodegradation potential. It is clear that microbes can only take over a part of the cleanup of the civilization's waste. The other role has to be taken by us humans, producing less plastic materials and reducing oil spills to the marine environment.